What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here and welcome to the third and final episode of the 2021 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I have fun making it. Had an absolute best blessed at the boat show this year as always. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be going over pretty much everything else that I saw at the boat show. I encountered a few other YouTube celebrities and you know fellow YouTubers that I really like to watch myself. Um, and uh, just all the other vendors and everything that I talked to and people, really cool stuff. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Consider subscribing down below. Helps me out a lot. Um, so yeah, enjoy the third and final episode of the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. <laughs> Alright, check it out guys. New 2021 Yamaha Superjet 4-stroke. The first Superjet four stroke in the Yamaha lineup. All years previously were all two strokes, dating back to 1990, which was my first ski, 1990 Superjet Square Nose. Here is their new 2021 four stroke. So it's got a graphics kit on it already. It doesn't come stock with this. Got a little scoop in the tray you got plugs in the back which the old super jets did not have you have a fuel gauge which is huge because when we go out riding we have no idea how much fuel we are using and yeah so it, it sometimes is a problem not really for us but for other people it might be yeah this one's definitely not stock we have some uh, aftermarket steering, aftermarket bars, looks like Riva. Pretty cool, it's Riva ski probably. Very nice ski though. Hope to arrive one one day. Hey guys, my name is Richard and this is Fort Lauderdale Boat Show 2021 and our boot is Clean Waterway. Clean Waterway is founded by a very passionate local Fort Lauderdale residents that are very concerned with waterways and how everything was deteriorating so fast. Uh, for example, our oceans, our Caribbean, Caribbean reef track, which used to be the third largest reef track in the world, is now, we only have 2% of those corals left alive. A lot of them are now extinct. A lot of them are critically endangered. So we're trying to do our best right now to, how, we're trying to figure out a way how to clean the water and how to get in, these things back and how to revive these ecosystems and our solution was to bring multiple technology from different parts of different industry that does a lot of different water treatment uh, so main thing that we do we use is a foam fractionator we have over here this is a 300 gallon protein skimmer what it basically does is that we create tiny little micro nano bubbles which are negatively charged and since these, these bubbles are negatively charged, they uh, adhere to, they call to all the pollutants and contaminants from the water, and then they'll rise to the top and they'll come out as a form of a skimming, which is like, it looks like a raw sewage when, it's, when it comes out. And to be effective in large body of water, we use massive pumps and aerator pumps and et cetera. We're putting nothing in the water except air. We're just using water and air to clean, and it's 60,000 gallons per hour. That's actually double the recommendation of EPA and other three-letter agencies uh, that we deal with. Uh, but we just want it to be effective and we just want to remove as much as possible. Uh, we had a project in Hemmershie Canal in Fort Lauderdale. In three months time, we removed little less than, uh, close to about 7,000 gallons of raw sewage, uh, which, which of those show that uh, it was excellent in removing nitrate and phosphate, which is the number one food source for algae, uh, for like red tide and such. And uh, it, it showed, in a, from a case analytical laboratory, it showed that we moved 154 times of phosphate from the surrounding water, and then it's 52 times more dense and on nitrate in the surrounding water. So it really shows how effective these are, as well as removing different type of metals, oil slicks, contaminants. It was just overall success. Uh, we have many different things over here. We're looking for other ways to remove other permanent uh, waste that's in their water system. So our goal is to like, purify the water enough, give a nature a leg up pretty much, so that oysters and other like seagrass and other vegetations can come back and make the ecosystem thrive and basically be less dependent on us to survive. And hopefully our children and their children can 
basically enjoy the same thing that we did as growing up in Florida. Okay guys, you guys heard that. That's from Richard from Clean Waterways. Thank you so much, Richard. Not a thank, problem. Thank you thank so you. much. Um, is there anywhere they can check you out on social media and everything? Yes, our social media page, we have a Clean Waterways on Facebook and as well as cleanwaterways.net. Uh, you can check us our, our updates. And if you want, there's a, a sign up sheet right there. You get a, a sign up sheet on, online as well where you get updates from what we do and such. Thank you very much. Make sure you guys check them out. Um, Clean Oceans is something I'm very passionate about. So make sure you guys show them some love. So here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, there are tons of vendors showing off their artwork. And this is one I just stumbled upon and it's uh, pretty unique. You know, you see a lot of um, very similar type of traditional fish pictures and paintings and stuff. And um, I came across this uh, vendor, trying to find a name, but we get some pretty cool pieces of art here. Very unique stuff. I mean, this is, this is beautiful. Okay, here's their information. It's like Steve is the artist. You guys can check him out. Hopefully you can read that. Here's his Instagram. Hey, uh, custom rods on custom rods on custom rods. Okay, if you look here guys, we got X Shores 100% electric boat. It's pretty cool. Okay, if you guys haven't seen or heard about these yet, these are the new Mercury V12 600 horsepower engines. They're huge. The entire engine itself doesn't steer, it's just a lower unit that turns when you steer, so it's a innovative design. They're super big. Yeah, they're they're huge. I mean, give you a little size reference here. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Look who I just met at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, guys. Hey, it's guys. the Gale Force Twins. So, do you like your jigs? Absolutely. I love these. These are the ones that I won the Jig Pro giveaway from. They're the ones that sponsored the giveaway. It was awesome. I've only used them twice so far. I haven't caught anything, but hopefully soon. Um, so nice to meet you guys in nice person. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, Thanks for saying awesome. hi. Thank you. Hanging out here at Regulator, and the sky has just opened up. Instead of in the forecast, it might rain. It's about to hop onto this beautiful. 31 foot regulator and the sky has just kind of opened up on us so we're gonna wait it out it's florida the storms are short so okay guys i just stumbled upon this um big old sport fisher which don't know what brand it is uh looking around i can't find anything but it's really unique because if you guys look it has outboards usually these big old sport fishers come with um inboard diesel engines and this is running quad 425 Yamaha V8s on the big sport fisher. I'm trying to find out more information on this boat. Really unique though. It's not something you really see that often on um, these big old boats. Usually center consoles have, and they've kind of done like the cabin cruisers have started to put some um, outboards on them, but I really haven't seen any of these boats, these sport fishers with uh, outboards. So that's really cool. Um, not sure how it works. Not sure how it rides, but I'm sure it rides great, but Super cool, and I uh, love to see changes happening to the um, boating industry, you know? All right, guys, I'm over here at Conk Boats, and just noticed some unique feature on their, looks like a 37 foot center console. They have these pitch wells up here in the front. So when you guys are going um, sail fishing or anything like that, they have, you can put your live bait in here, and you can easily just pitch baits right off the front, mahi fishing, sailfish anything like that super convenient and super unique feature on this boat that i have not seen on any other boats yet in the boat show there's one over there too so kudos to uh conch boats for this 
Uh, innovative idea. It's the Chicho! <laughs> I can't run from this place. Upper Mountain House, guys! From the Chicho! Damn! I can't run from anybody! Where's the clock? I gotta put him away. Hold on. <laughs> Where's Fred? He's, he's here somewhere. He's in my backpack, bitch. Oh, okay. I don't, want, I don't want, you know, them to cancel me. Awesome. awesome. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the third and final episode of the 2021 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. I hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I have fun making it. Um, it was absolute blast. I love going to boat shows. Uh, I like to go to Fort Lauderdale, Miami, um, Palm Beach, and I'm also open to go to and travel to go to other boat shows. So guys, let me know in the comments down below if you like this content and let me know what you want to see for future boat shows because I'm going to be going to them no matter what and I love making content at them. So let me know what you guys want to see. Um, follow me on Instagram at living underscore salty with two eyes. I'll put it on the screen right here. I was posting behind the scenes from this boat show. I also post more fishing photos, jet skiing photos, post everything on there. Make sure you go check me out there. Hit a like button if you like this video. Subscribe down below. Helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And yeah, that's going to do it for the series. So until the next video, remember to keep living salty.